too late to stop the new concealed carry gun bill from becoming law. But the New Orleans police chief and the mayor now have come out against it. And before the bill even is signed by the governor, one state representative has filed legislation that would turn big chunks of New Orleans into gun free zones entirely. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton is here to explain. Ashley. Kurt Susie, city leaders say this bill is very serious and it's a matter that needs to be looked at. Their concern it will do more harm than good. We have too many guns in New Orleans. Senate Bill 1 approved by the legislature has left New Orleans leaders feeling uneasy. I do not at all believe that this makes our city and our people safer. It puts us all in greater danger. Illegal gun enforcement is so critical to ensure that we don't have firearms, illegal firearms in areas that are so incredibly crowded. When Governor Jeff Landry signs it in next week, the law will allow people 18 years old and up to carry a concealed handgun without a permit. NOPD Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick says during parade season, 111 guns were confiscated and more than half of them would have been given back if the law was already in effect. This uh, particular bill was not well thought through. It is more of an emotional reaction and not a result of sober, critical thinking about the impacts. The chief also says that the law will definitely hamper the efforts to find and confiscate illegal guns. You will see more people who are armed that we cannot check. We will have to train differently and look for more um, legal standards that would give us the opportunity to do that. But city leaders say they're looking for a solution everyone can live with. And they point to House Bill 498 that's been filed for the upcoming regular legislative session. Convention Center area downtown and uh, the French Quarter puts it under a firearm free zone. So in public spaces, there would not be uh, firearms allowed. This is just a step toward finding what that solution is. Mayor Cantrell added there will be more guns on the streets of New Orleans and that people coming into the city will also have weapons, creating a more dangerous environment.